You know, I always liked science, and I thought for a while about doing some sort of medical research. I really had a passion for primary care. I just felt that was a calling, and so I, I went that route, really felt it paid off. I really enjoyed the connection with patients. I was studying cultural anthropology, and in 1998, there was a tsunami that hit the coast in Papua New Guinea. And so I ended up um, spending three months in Papua New Guinea. Um, in a town called Aitape. While I was there, I was exposed to a bunch of guys from Doctors Without Borders and the Peace Corps, and I was like, you know, this is, I think this might be my calling. During my childhood, we had a special situation with my um, older sister, and I saw growing up how um, supportive the, the healthcare staff can be, and I wanted to become one. Thought I was gonna be a doctor right around fifth grade. I didn't come from a medical background, so uh, it was sort of uncharted territory. But I had teachers in elementary school even told me, said, well, you can be a doctor if you want to be a doctor. And I said, OK, sure. I forced myself to volunteer at the emergency room. The first night I worked there, uh, I knew I wanted to do this. The time was seconds to me. I mean, I walked in, and the next thing it was 3 AM, and they had to tell me, you have to leave. But to this day, I remember exactly what I did. And I remember walking home from the emergency room that night saying, this is what I have to do. There's no question. And how awesome would it be to feel like this every single day? I wanted to be able to impact the world around me in a positive way. And that seemed like a very good platform to allow me to do that. 